Welcome to the Shout Out Show, where artists come and shout out their, their art in the things that they do. Your host today, Niels and Keith Russell. Mr. Russell, hey! What's going on? Hey, Niels? you are. You're going on today. I'm so so excited to uh, to see you here and see that that you're able to make this and stuff. And before we get too far along, I want to make the first shout out of this show about our Marines, because I understand you've got a little service under your belt, um, and uh, and I, I see you've been keeping up with, keeping up with it too, with the, with the Superman stuff and everything going on there, you know. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Shout uh, out to the United States Marine Corps. Um, uh, spent about 11 years in the Marine Corps, so big shout out to all of the Marines that are overseas right now, and um, we, we want y'all to come home. And, 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 and hopefully this Iranian thing going and all of that isn't, uh, and I, sorry folks, we usually don't get political on this show. We're, yeah, you know, I'll talk politics. We're, 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 <laughs> we're all about win-wins and love-loves here. Right, right, and, and, right. And, and, and all I know, in Oceanside, we love our Marines. Oh, yeah. Okay? Oh, we yeah. love our Marines, and so shout out to all of our Oceanside Camp Pendleton Marines tonight. Hey, shout out to the Miramar Marines too. Hey, shout you know. out to all of the armed forces. Well, yes, in San Diego. yeah, yeah. Let's you know let's, I mean? let's like, uh, we gotta give right. it up. Yeah, you know? let's give it up. You got to the all Navy them. down on Thursday. Yes, Street, yes, you know? you're right. You're yeah, right. We gotta give it up to yeah, yeah. all of those that serve. You yeah. know, the yeah. Marines. We're just one. You know, yeah. of many. You know. Yeah. So 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 Keith, uh, uh, our subject today that I put out to our viewers is um, is the art. Of being a producer you know and I understand um, you know going through your background and stuff that 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 you you know been doing some shows so so why don't you just kind of start back at the beginning I don't know if that's before or after the Marines or whatever why don't you kind of start and and, and kind of you know bring us up to date on on uh, how you got started how you got to here well, you on know, this live show on Facebook. Yeah, that's, that's, that's interesting. So it's going to be a lot of fast forwarding going on sure. here. But um, yeah, um, after I got out of the Marine Corps, you know, I, I really didn't know what I was going to do. You know, it, it became um, apparent to me that you know I didn't know which which route to take. You know, I wanted to stay in, you know, and continue to be a, a career Marine. But right. since the Marine Corps was downsizing at the time, you know, it was one of those things where you got to go. Gotcha. If you haven't been in for this long, then you got to go. It's so, a seniority kind of a thing. Yeah. Seniority, absolutely. Right, right, we right, we, right, we right, can right. say seniority. <laughs> yeah, <that's> senior. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm at one of the uh, fairs, and um, the, the job fairs, and a guy by the name of Mike Orman comes up to me and says, you ever thought about being a filmmaker? I say, no, you know, I don't. Um, you know, I always thought of like what it would take to make a film, but I never thought about being a filmmaker. And he said, you know, you should really come and check this out. And I'm like, you know, why do you think it, you know, relates to me? He said, well, you know, you just seem like the type of person that, you know, would take to something like this. Hmm. So, you know, he said it was in Hollywood and that had me. Oh, oh all, all, all he had to do was say Hollywood, and, and you saw and, stars. And huh? I was trying to play my role, but you know, in yeah, all yeah. actuality, it's like, okay, I'm about to get ready to see how you know, it is. So I, I went down, and man, I love this school, man, the Los Angeles Film School, man. Um, uh, Mike was a, a liaison, a um, military liaison. For the Los Angeles Film School, gotcha. and his job was to like get veterans mm -hmm. uh, to come in and go to film school at the mm -hmm. time, and uh, using the GI Bill. And I walked in this place, man, and I just fell in love from the second that you know the studio downstairs to the sound machines, and you know all of the recording and the cameras, and you know seeing the three D um, building machine right in the middle of the school. You know, I just fell in love with this. Place. You were hooked. You were hooked so, at that point. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> Look at this smile. <laughs> I mean, like, that was one of those things. And they tell, I feel like with being a Marine, it's like my mindset is there's nothing that I put my mind to that I can't accomplish. 
So that was one of those things with film school, you know. Right. Despite all of the adversity or everything that I was going through, you know, my main goal was to graduate film school. You know, but I learned so much. Yeah. You know, and yeah. when you learn everything and you're doing practical applications on everything, you know, you can't wait, you know, to do it on your own. Right. You know, so right. And I had a lot of good mentors, you know, a lot of good mentors. So um, fast forward, I graduate film school. Right. And I come to San Diego. And the whole thing with me coming to San Diego was I just didn't want to be in L.A. You know, I had the mm -hmm. option to stay in L.A. I didn't want to be in, in L.A. There was something about the, the, the nostalgia mm -hmm. here in San Diego and being able to start from the ground up. I wanted to start from the ground up elsewhere, you know, because... Everybody knows that LA is, you know, again they have the standards and practices. So right, you know, right, right. Uh, well, well, and 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 that's Hollywood Central. I mean, right. that that, that that's, uh, everything gravitates out yeah. from that. and that's why I went to school yeah. in the heart of Hollywood. Yes, you know what yeah. I mean. So right. you know, we got a chance to see how that worked, but we learned more of how to do things independently, crowdfunding, grazing, right. doing things from the ground up. Yeah. You're kind of like your setup that you have here. You right, know, that's right. the way that we were learning things. So I couldn't wait to actually implement that. So one of the things that I learned about uh, being a filmmaker is you gotta have your own money. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you gotta have your own you gotta, money? What does you that gotta mean? have your own money because like you gotta pay people, you know. And yeah, you know we can we can all be one man bands, right? You know, right, but in right. order to you know make this beast that we call filmmaking right. work and right. move. You gotta, you gotta have your own money, you yeah. know. And so I learned that, you know, when I produced my first film, you know, it was called uh, Murder Files, and we did it on a, a spaghetti string budget. You know what I mean? Like next to nothing. Actually, most of the budget in that film went to the makeup artist. You know? Ah! <laughs> I, I, I may makeup have, the makeup artist. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I may have made. Five hundred dollars mm -hmm. for that movie. How long you was know? it? Was it a uh, short? Just about thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. It was thirty okay. minutes. I was pre I was yeah. prepared to take it mm -hmm. to a full length feature, but you made a short of it. I made it out of a short. Yeah. You know, so um, when I when I produced that film, that's when I saw like, oh, you're gonna have to have some money because mm -hmm. not only are you gonna have to pay your actors, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, you're gonna have to pay the other people that's working on the set with. You can't direct and be the boom operator and, you know, be the first assistant director and be the script supervisor and you'll be overwhelmed. You're already, like when you direct a film or when you produce a film, you're already a skeleton of the person that you were before you went in. Right. You know, and it takes so much, you know, to make sure that when you have a vision in your head, it, it comes out, you know, right. the way that right. you want it. And, um... That was a part of becoming a producer, you know. And that's what I got sort of addicted to. I got addicted to having this vision. And, okay, now I can do it. And having this vision. So then I started drawing, you know, and I started thinking about the content that was on, you know, Facebook, what my competitors were doing, um, looking at my community, um, uh, volunteering, you know, and it, making sure that, you know, people know that when I come, you I'm not the aggressor. I'm the one that's gonna right. help get it done. I'm gonna be a part of the solution. Having that energy, you know, and so that's sort of what I got addicted to, the collaboration mm -hmm. part about mm -hmm. it, you know. So, and also starting from the ground up, you mm -hmm. know. So, um, I dove my foot into uh, the radio and television program over at uh, Palomar, mm -hmm. and that sort of like boosted me gave me a boost of uh, ambition. It was sort of like a, a level up after film school, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. because with film I was just one way, you know, going to film. But when I went to Palomar, I learned about television and broadcasting and, you know, how everybody in one room can work together. And we have more than nuts and In bolts, a particular so. format. Yeah. You know, format was the was the whole, the main thing, you know, can you get it done from beginning to end? Why is this commercial going right here? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? What's mm -hmm. going to happen right here? The rundown, step by step by step. So 
It's, it's like every second, isn't it? Every, every down to second. the second. Down, down to, to the, the second. second. Down to yeah. the second. We right. produced the San Diego Film Awards this year down to the, the second. second. Yes. You know, just shout out to Joe Castano. Shout out to Jody. Shout out to everybody that participated in the San Diego Film Awards. Yeah. Big shout outs. Yeah. Um, so uh, then that, that propelled me to uh, produce San Diego Unveiled. You know, so... When I produced San Diego Unveiled, um, that sort of got the engine running for this whole producer thing because I was in the studio every week writing, you know, in the studio writing. It's full time at that full, point. Not full time, not but you know, but, but a lot of a lot of the prep. You right. Know what I mean, right, a lot right, of the right, prep, right. and it was it was a ground up kind of thing. I had a formula, you know, yeah. to where I would make contact one way, you know, and then I would. You know, I would have my host that they, they were on board. You know, the writers were on board. My associate was on board. And it was all working, you know, in one big piece. So when right. it came down to the studio, it was nothing but love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but you set it up right. Man. You, you did all was, your prep work right. Everything was done right, you know. And, and, and it was not like they were, the guests were walking into something they didn't know what it was. Mm -hmm. When they got there, they, it, they it, already know. Right. It, it was professional. Everyone treated it professional, right. and it's just a matter of execution. Right. Execution. Right. And again, you know, shout out to the San Diego and Vail crew, Josh Nas, uh, KD Sharif, um, um, Neil, Janice Agagas, uh, Anissa Okanzi. Man, shout out to all of y'all. Seven, man. Um, Stephanie, man, I love y'all, man. Without y'all, that show would not be possible. They they worked hard and they, they they the the crew you know is what it was. That's the love. Yeah, you know I mean because you become like a family, man. Right. You're right. doing it every week, every week, every week. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And yeah. So we got up to you know a, a lot of episodes. How, how, how many? How many did you do? Uh, we did about a hundred in the no summer. No yeah, Over one summer, yeah, we did about a hundred. You know. And wow. Yeah, wow, and it was cool, you know, because my mom came on the show and yeah. like, like we we switched it up and it's coming. I'm like sort of spoiling San Diego unveiled right now, but it's coming, you know. Like, uh, um, my mom came on the show. I was the first male host to ever host the show, so um, and and it's like a a really emotional and impactful ending.